in the blues. Yeah. In 1952, well, he moved up to Chicago in the late 40s from Louisiana. He was born in 1930. He moved up to uh, Chicago and met Muddy Waters and uh, Jimmy Rogers. They started a band in 1952. They went into Chess Studios and recorded a song called Juke. That became a number one blues harmonica instrumental, the only one that I know of. And uh, he went out to have a string of hits from 1952 to probably 1956 or so. And he had one other hit uh, that was a number one hit, and that was My Babe. Everyone familiar with that? Oh, one? yeah. 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 But in between that, he had all kinds of other hits that were uh, charted on, on the uh, charts for weeks at a time, months at a time, and we're going to be doing a lot of those songs this evening. Now, to put on a show like this, you've got to have one hell of a band that can back up all the harmonica players that are going to be stepping on stage tonight, and we've got one hell of a band. Yeah. So you got we got Alligator Recording Artist, the leader of Little Charlie and the Nightcats. How about a ch big hand right now for Little Charlie Baby? Yeah, Charlie! We've also got uh, the leader of Anson and the Rockets with Sam Myers. How about a big hand for, from Texas, Anson Thunderbird? We also have uh, Anson's former drummer, and he's played with just about everybody else you can think of out of the great state of Texas, Delbert McClinton, Marsha Ball, Jimmy Vaughn, Omar Dykes, as well as Anson, and a whole host of other great players that sleep at the wheel. How about a big hand from Austin, Texas for West Star on the drum? And you got to have a great bass player to go with a great drummer. And these guys have been playing together off and on since high school in Rome, Georgia. How about a big hand for R.W. Grigsby on the bass? Yeah. And starting off the show, one of my very favorite harmonica players on the East Coast, if not in the United States. He's a world-class harmonica player, a really fine singer as well and a stone-cold blues man from Philadelphia. How about it for Steve Geiger? Yeah. How's everybody doing? All right. All right. All right. Mark Hummel, give it on up. Putting all this together. Well, guess what we're going to do? A little water song. Yeah. <laughs> Why not?
stay in the same key. I usually don't play three songs in the same key. Sometimes I can't remember to switch keys sometimes. You know? It's not that I'm old, I'm not old. Yeah. And hey, we're going to do another song by Guess Who? Little Walt. Walt. Little Walt. <laughs> and uh, this was back in probably, probably when Walter was a kid, he heard this song from a buddy of mine, uh, Big Guitar Red. If anybody knows who Walter Smith is, guitar player from Little Blues. And uh, so anyway, he used to tell me about the kids used to do hand clapping. And this is one of the songs they used to sing. So Walter had a great memory, so we're going to do that song called Mother Down Easy. Let me see, let me get... <laughs> Thank you. 